Hello and welcome to the south of Sweden. In these woods we have a little off-grid cabin that we're rebuilding. We live in Denmark and come up here as much as we can. Now it is the Easter break and we could bring our 11-year-old boy with us. So this is what a realistic family week looks like in our off-grid cabin. A mix of small building projects, anti-inflammatory baking, setting up solar panels and some extreme spring cleaning. For the last one, I learned something important that made it so much easier. I will tell you more about that later. Now I hope you are comfortable, perhaps with a nice cup of tea. Let's dive into our week in the woods. It's a beautiful morning and the first thing we're gonna do in this mission of cleaning this place a bit up now that it's spring, it's the 1st of April, go to the car and get the new doors that we bought. We're gonna change the two doors in the cabin. Who in the world left this here? Ah, oh, the sun is out. Then we're gonna fill up the trailer with trash because it's Easter now and that means that it's exactly one year ago that we started this whole thing. The trash we're gonna be driving away today is the house that we tore down one year ago. Now, <laughs> full circle. Today we are saying goodbye to this pile of, yeah, well, it is the old house. And now we have this new house. The core is still in there. It's not all gone, but it's definitely smaller.
Good morning, you wonderful you. Julian is there trying to get the internet to work here. And I am gonna do some dishes, but the water is frozen. So it's going a bit slowly. And something amazing I just discovered yesterday was that in the fall I planted some flower onions here. I heard that it's really common that deers eat these so they never come up. So I'm really really <laughs> Delighted to see that they're on their way. Apparently it's really hard to catch some internet out here right now. Julian got the door in. Now he needs to do the final adjustments because this house is really crooked. And I'm gonna take a look at this pile. All right, so I filled a trailer, but I am nowhere near finished. Bom, bom, bom. So yeah, as I've mentioned before, this is technically the whole house. The roof is uh, in the bottom and then all of the, the walls. And I don't know if you remember when Julian <laughs> pushed down all of the gable at once poof, and smashed down here. So that's, that's all here. And now we thought that it was time for some spring cleaning because this place is starting to look and feel really cozy. We're starting to feel the paradise, but this is not very paradisey. <laughs> so yeah, it feels really great to just be wandering in the sun and picking up these pieces. Right now I'm actually listening to a podcast with uh, Kalle Flodin. The podcast is about people who maybe have moved to um, a special place with really rough circumstances. At least this episode is about that. Uh, a woman living on Svalbard. Very exciting. They are talking about being a content creator and doing YouTube. You can get 99 positive comments and one negative comment and your brain just focuses on that one. And that is because we as humans are designed to react to threats. So when there's a threat, it weighs more in our brains because that's how we survive. Only <laughs> it's not as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. <laughs> a negative comment on YouTube can't kill you as a threat could thousands of years ago. But still, our brains are designed to react on it. So that's why we can just forget about those 99 for a minute and just 
stress about that one and that's so stupid because it doesn't do anything good for us anymore. It's like Julian also put these uh, <laughs> these up yesterday to store these baskets and it's really cute. I still feel that it's kind of like living in a treehouse <laughs> with just small cute solutions <laughs> that look nothing like a real house. <laughs> but uh, it's temporary, but mm, I like it. <laughs> Also, many of you have mentioned this wall, that you really like this wall. Every time a person comes in here, they're like, wow, the wall! And I kind of never felt that way about this wall, except for the very first time, because when we got here, it was green. The room was green, it was really ugly. <laughs> Sorry. And we started over here, taking the, the wall down. When we saw it was locks inside, I was so excited. But then we got further and found out that they're really damaged. So there's not long between that someone that once has built this house for the second time has um, carved into the walls to put up some beams here to... Yeah, I'm not really sure why, but for some reason. <laughs> so I just always thought that it was cool to see, but we're gonna cover it up again. But now, seeing how many of you like really like it, I it's given me a new perspective and a new way to see it. I also remember when Christine from another video came in here, she was like, you're gonna keep it, right? I was like, eh, no. <laughs> but having this same reaction so many times got me thinking. And now I have thought of maybe also because we had to remove the whole top here. So now I'm thinking and suggested to Julian, what if we built like a tiny wall here at the top with new wood, like over here. So it would go all the way, all the way around in the top, clean up the beams, uh, the locks, make them look nice and then make some kind of new style. <laughs> That's what we're considering right now, I have no idea. How that would look. Some nice frames around the windows and just make it blend in all together somehow. And of course we're gonna keep the old door and use it for some other project around here in the future. Now I'm gonna see what Julian is up to. Planning for the solar panels, mm -hmm. how and where we should put them. Putting up the solar panels again means that the season has started for us to uh, make our own, or for the sun to make our power. We have been uh, going on the generator for the winter because there hasn't been sun here, not almost. Hmm. So that's going to be exciting as well. The boys went out to play football and now they're <laughs> digging into the ground. What are you doing? We are trying to make a <clears throat> way, way so like we can drive through here but all these small trees are in the way so we are like cleaning everything right here. Mm. And over here I want to show you something in the fall. I planted these blackberries I think they're called and now they're on their way. I felt kind of sad for a minute that that we're not doing a lot of gardening right now because it's spring, it's time to put those seeds in the ground for the summer, but <laughs> you can't do everything all the time. And then I got so happy when I saw that we did do gardening, we just did it in the fall. And now, yeah, we're gonna have some berries in the summer, I hope. So that's the beauty of being in a place like this, that there's always something to do. And it feels so damn satisfying to improve, improve this place. Because yeah, filling a hole in the ground, you know that it'll be more fun to play football tomorrow and for the rest of the days. <laughs> Planting a bush, you know that you'll have berries for many, many years. It's so satisfying.
ska vi om jag ska se det. Definitely time for some outside work today. Oh, and there's frost and glitter on the grass. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> We are about to be ready to put up the solar panels. So now they're gonna be placed over here where we sat yesterday. We have one more panel, so we had to build a bigger scaffolding to hold them. Ready? Julian has worked so hard, so I thought I would uh, bake a cake. <laughs> right now we are doing an anti-inflammatory experiment. So I'm baking a cake that uh, will fulfill those criteria. hot in here and now I need to do dishes again I think I'm doing dishes twice a day now and I don't know why or how that how that comes to be maybe I know It's always tricky with these solar panels and we haven't really figured them out yet, but we're learning more and more every time. And now it's working. And what did you say? How much are they charging? Mm, 1400 watts, approximately three times more than the generator. So that's good. That's good. So we are solar powered. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Julian is building stairs for the terrace. It's beautiful, honey. Thanks. Now we're on our way. <laughs> Liam is ahead. <laughs> it's kind of a tradition now that when we're here, all three of us, we go to the town and buy a giant pizza <laughs> because they have the biggest pizza I have ever seen here. After driving six trailers to uh, the to the trash place, <laughs> we are changing strategies. So in 15 minutes or so, there's a coming a container here by the road. Now we wait. Liam got bored so he walked up to the cabin again. <laughs> yeah, so basically we uh, filled the trailer six times. Two of the loads can be in the van. So we, we have been in the town uh, two times. And we decided to talk to the people there if, if there was another solution and they offered to bring a container here for some money of course. <laughs> 
so it's um maybe a more expensive way we don't really know but it's gonna be so much more effective because then we just need to go back and forth on the ATV here instead of filling the trailer emptying the trailer into the car filling the trailer emptying the trailer into the car filling the trailer driving to town emptying the trailer emptying the car going back and forth maybe five or six more times then we can just go back and forth on the ATV here fill up this container that will be here then they will pick it up in five days we have it for five days it's here <laughs> Huge. this is gonna be good I feel so lucky that people here are able to help us out this way even though this is kind of tricky to get this giant truck into this tiny entrance in the forest Ooh. now this changes everything <laughs> Now we brought the trash place to us. <laughs> what do you call it? The place, the central, where you drive trash. Or maybe I know it. I totally forgot it right now. So happy. <laughs> this makes it so much easier. <laughs> so now let's make some space. Snowing. <laughs> wow. We can see outside now without only seeing the trash. <laughs> This is so beautiful. <laughs> it's so strange because it's been so sunny all of the days this week. And now, wow. <laughs> I can't believe that I get to be here right now in this world at this time. I feel so, so blessed. <sighs> when we were playing cards and I brought some snacks Julian said thank you and I said thank you and Liam said why do you say thank you all the time <laughs> it's important because some of the most some of the like the richest people in the world who have all of their dreams come true who have everything that they want in life all through cultures and nationalities and and everything doesn't matter the people who are the most happy in the world are the most grateful people. So I say thank you as much as I can <sighs> because it gives me a feeling, it gives a feeling to the person I'm saying it to and I don't know if it creates a higher vibration for me and manifests my dreams to come true <laughs> but either way it just makes me feel good. So, yeah, if I could say one thing, just say thank you as much as you can and your dreams will come true. <laughs> Mine did, anyway, so... <laughs>
our tradition. Once a week we eat pancakes. I make them with bananas, eggs and oat. And then whichever spices, flavors or extra nutrition I want to put in. Usually we do it on Fridays, but today is Liam's last day here, so we're gonna have pancakes today. So we're almost done and honestly it's been a really great process. <laughs> Usually cleaning up and decluttering isn't very fun. Most people don't think it is. But yesterday when I was carrying some of these, I was listening to uh, an audiobook about cleaning up. She said something that at first sounded really weird, but now I cannot, I cannot think of it any other way. And it's just like this little golden thing that turns the whole mindset about cleaning up around. So I wanted to share it with you. Love your clutter away. Basically it is that while you're cleaning up, if it's something big like this or if it's just your your kitchen or a drawer, instead of thinking of that you're cleaning it up because you're having guests over and you need to hurry up or you're cleaning up because you need to, you have to. We all have these stories from maybe when we were children that we had to clean up our rooms and it was a chore and it was a negative thing that we have to clean up. But if we turn it around and think of all of the good things that we get from, from cleaning it up, when this is all gone, that will be so amazing and we will get space for a garden. We will get space to build a shed for the wood, the firewood. We will get uh, a house that doesn't look like uh, a garbage, a trash place. <laughs> and all of those wonderful things are in my mind while I am carrying these logs. And that just makes me really happy. So this has been a really happy process for me. Especially because I've been just having a good time listening to podcasts and audiobooks and we've been doing it together, you know, and it's a free workout. <laughs> so I feel really strong. It's been amazing and I hope that you can feel some kind of inspiration from that when you're cleaning up your next drawer or cleaning out your wardrobe or just think about all of the good things and love your clutter away. <laughs> Since we have so little time left, today is all about just getting the last the last wood away and having a good time. So now we decided it's cake time. So another banana oat cake <laughs> with spices and chocolate.
Good morning. This is our last breakfast in this dark kitchen. Today I feel my body is calling for some softness before I start today's work. So I'm just gonna take it slow and get on going when, when it feels right. <laughs> when we're here, waking up without an alarm clock and just looking straight out at the trees. At... This has to be the dream life. I can't imagine anything better. <laughs> to put the new door in <laughs> if you haven't seen our video about why we choose natural wood material and how we're gonna treat it you I will link to the video up here we were just about to put the door in when we found out that it turns the wrong way which is weird because we spent a lot of time when buying it discussing whether or not which way it should face and it must have been placed wrong or something because now it's opposite this doesn't make any sense because at first glance this looks fine and these are on the outside but all of the outside features are on the inside like where the rain is supposed to fall off and the protective side okay so we've been looking at it and talking about it and one of our neighbors just came by and also looked at it and we can't figure out what seems to be the issue so we decided to keep it like this so the inside is out and the outside is in but in a few years we're gonna be building an a little what is it called Fastuga. a fastuga <laughs> a little building here maybe with a lot of windows in to be like an entrance so this will be inside anyway mm. so it will be protected but for now, we're just having a strange door, I guess. So, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> now I think my slow morning is coming to an end and I will be doing the rest of the trash gathering. Uh, we were just having a walk around the land and Actually, the reason our neighbor came by was he's the previous owner of this house. He's the one who sold it to us. And we put in the poles to mark where the land goes exactly. And walking around, talking about the trees and the land and just talking about which a wonderful garden this will be when we get all of this place cleaned up and clear out old branches, take care of the small trees growing up. This will be a paradise garden. If you think of it as land or forest, it's not very big. But if you, if you think of it as a garden, it's huge. <laughs> so it's just, it's wonderful. And side note, the solar panels are working to perfection. We learned so much last year. <laughs> Key for you, honey, to a house. First one. Thank you, honey. <laughs> So in one and the same day, coincidentally, we got keys for our house and we got to mark up the land. Hmm. It's yeah. pretty special. It's a big day. <laughs> Should have seen it's work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's locked. Nice. It's open. <laughs> so until now we have just used the tiny lock to keep the old door in place and <laughs> locked when we weren't here. So this is probably better. And 
Yes. One year later, honey. <laughs> The reason we didn't just uh, burn all of this and make a giant fire is, well, first of all, it was really close to the house, so that would be dumb. But also, there is forest all around us, and if just one little piece of fire uh, landed in the forest somewhere and, and caught fire somewhere, it would be catastrophic. So, even though it was <laughs> a lot more work, we are, yeah, taking all of the wood to the trash central <laughs> but as you can see we are so close Did I mention that we primarily work and eat cake? <laughs> this was the last of it! Today we just uh, put, a, put these up because there are berries on the way, hopefully and to protect them from animals eating them before they even come out. Notice all of the space around the house. We can walk around the house oh, for the first time. Look at this. I'm so proud that we did this. What's left here now are roof tiles and they were not allowed to come with the wood only container. Um, here is a uh, fire escape and on the other side as well temporary until we can build something and this is the wood that we chose to keep that we can use to build some other buildings around here so much more space and we are ready for spring this was our dream come true this door right here Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye! <laughs>